Welcome back to our GoHeels.com National Signing Day coverage. My name's Jones Angel alongside the head coach of the Tar Heels, Larry Fedora. And coach, it's been a busy day for you, a busy morning for you. 19 new Tar Heels, including your January enrollees. Just tell me a little bit about the day and how things have gone for you. Now, really uneventful for us, which is a good thing. I think going into the morning, I think our coaches had a pretty good feel of, of, of the way it was going to go down, and that's the way it went. And so that was a good thing for us. And so, you know, you come to the end on the 15 class, you're probably about uh, a quarter of the way of, in the 16 class, and you've started the 17 class. So it's a never-ending cycle, but it's, a, it's an exciting day for a lot of people out there, not only for the staff, but for our fans, for the players, for their families. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great way to end it. Coach, you did have nine January enrollees this year, a higher number than normal. How important is it for you to get some of those guys in in January? Well, I've never had nine before, so we, we were excited to get those guys in here. All nine of them are obviously taking classes. They are uh, working out in the off season. They're getting to know our football team. And they're finding out what it means to be a student athlete here at the University of North Carolina. So they're going to have a much better feel for uh, for who they are as players and and students, you know, than the uh, the new guys that get here in in June. Seven linemen in this class, both on the offensive and defensive line combined, seemed like that was a point of emphasis for you guys this year. It was. We have to continue to build depth uh, up front on on both sides if we're going to be successful the way we want to be. Uh, it's you know the game's won in the trenches it always is there's guys on the outside they're going to make plays for you but those guys up front are the ones that have to get it done and so we really felt good about what we did in the offensive line and the defensive line five of the top 15 prospects in the state of North Carolina is that a good enough number for you do you want that number to be even higher moving forward well we, we want everyone I mean uh, you know we're, we're going to always go after the the top kids in the state and we, we expect to get all of them and uh, until we get that done we won't be satisfied you had a couple staff changes during this time period, the last couple of months. How, how did your new coaches and Coach Papuchis and Coach Chizik, how did they fit in in such a small amount of time to help you with this recruiting class? Yeah, it's always interesting when you do that because those guys really have no idea what they're coming into, and sure. uh, they, they immediately get put out on the road, and they're, uh, they're trying to sell – what they really don't know they've got, you know, and so it's always hard. Uh, you know, they come in on a recruiting weekend and they don't know the difference in a player or a recruit. They don't know the guys that are here or the guys that are being recruited. So they just do the best job they can. Uh, I think everybody understands the circumstances. I think uh, there was a tremendous amount of excitement about both of them uh, with their pedigrees and what they bring to the table. I think everybody's really fired up. Coach, have you gotten a better feel yet for your defensive scheme moving forward? You and Coach Chizik talked about that and how you want your defense to look moving forward. Yeah, we, we've talked about it, and we talked about it uh, quite a bit as we were you know, going through the process. And so, you know, Gene's going to base out of a 4-3. That's going to be the base of our defense. I mean, we're going to be a, a, you know, attacking, uh, very aggressive style of defense. But I think it's something that, you know, if you look back, uh, you know, in the defenses that he's coached in the past, I think, you know, he's – He's had some pretty good defenses, and, and he, he knows what he's doing. So I'll turn that over to him and let him figure out how he wants to do it. Coach, you mentioned this a, a moment ago, but you've been just as busy talking to, to future recruits, guys in the 16 and 17 class today, as you have uh, locking up things uh, for this particular class. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, that's why I said at the beginning, I mean, this is the end of this one, but yeah. we're, we're well into 16 and 17. And, and actually, we have, you know, there's been contact with 18 kids. I mean, you know, so – I mean, there's guys out there that we know that are freshmen that, that we have an interest in already, and, and we're going to continue to, you know, build a relationship th with them as they come on our campus. Last thing, Coach, and this is such a broad question. Do you feel like you filled the needs that you had coming into today with the class that you signed? Yeah, we really felt good. It's a, it's a balanced class, you know, uh, bo on both sides of the ball. I believe we at least signed one guy at every position. Uh, you know, we're, we're really not trying to just fill one hole on our football team. We're trying to continue to build depth. Uh, you know, and I think along with this class and the next class that comes in, I think we'll finally be back to full scholarship numbers. He's the head coach of the Tar Heels, Larry Fedora. Thanks for following along all day here on GoHeels.com. And still a lot to do. He'll have his press conference this afternoon at 3.30, plus the signing day celebration tonight in the Blue Zone as well. We hope to see you there. Thanks for listening, and thanks for cheering on the Tar Heels. Order your 2015 Carolina football tickets today. Make plans to see the smart, fast, physical Tar Heels in Keenan Stadium. Visitors include Miami, Duke, Virginia, and Wake Forest. Season tickets start at just $99. Visit GoHeels.com to order your Carolina football tickets now.